Hello, welcome back to Prison Architect. Previous episode, we built this workshop and this forestry area. And here, prisoners can work and they can make planks, they can make license plates, they can make beds. And we can sell the things they make and we can earn a lot of money with it. If you take a look at how many prisoners can work here, we see that there are 42 spots for prisoners and we only have 14 qualified prisoners. So what we need is we need a lot more prisoners uh, that are going to work here. And how do we do that? By just increasing the amount of prisoners that are in our prison. So now we have two cell blocks for medium security prisoners. What I want to do is I want to build uh, a cell block or a cell prison section for minimum security prisoners. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to put the minimum security prisoners a lot closer together. They are, uh, you know, they're not as dangerous as medium security prisoners or max security prisoners. So we can uh, put them, pack them more densely and, you know, get increase our prisoner amount by quite a bit in just a smaller space. And the minimum security prisoners that arrive here in a prison can work in a workshop and they can earn us a lot of money. So that's good, that's great. That's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna get started with that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put them in dormitories instead of giving them individual cells, we're gonna put them in dormitories and they will be sharing a space with each other. So I'm gonna plan a dormitory out this is what the dormitory is going to look like. What I did is I made a separate bathroom and shower area. So that here I'm going to put some showers here. I'm going to put some toilets. And this is going to be a kind of like cell. So I'm going to put a bed here, a bed here, and some other things here. Maybe like a radio, bookshelf, and other items that will increase the room quality of this dormitory. Let's build it. Large shield door. Okay. So this is what it's, what it's going to look like. And, you know, we will wait until this is built. And in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to create a little pathway from here to here. Okay, this is built. And I also put some utilities. So what we can do first is we can start by building some walls. And we don't have different walls do we we just have regular walls yes uh so yeah, okay let's put regular walls i would have liked maybe if there were uh, half walls so walls that would not reach all the way to the roof but just uh, halfway but we don't have those i'm also gonna put I think guard here. Yeah. Okay. So now the walls are going to be built. And in the meantime, what we can do is we can just put up some lights. We built the walls and we also built the lights. Now what we can do is we can zone this as a dormitory. So now we can see what we need. We need a bed and a toilet. So... We can have different kinds of beds. We can even have bunk beds. So we can even fit more people in this dormitory. I don't want that. I think we already fit enough people in this dormitory with just regular beds. So I'm not going to put bunk beds in here. We can either choose to give them beds or comfy beds. You know, uh, these minimum security prisoners are going to be working hard for us. So I want to give them some comfy beds. So they can rest nice nicely they can rest well at night this way they will work even harder during the day <laughs> you know this is kind of turning to be this prison is kind of turning into a gulag but that's okay you know sometimes prisons turn into gulags and we also need toilets so let's give them some toilets and you know and we can even build uh, the other things so shower head right we need those let's also get some drains 
and uh, you know some sink and mirrors to put on this wall should also be nice so we can also take a look at the room quality this doesn't do a lot you know i don't think it does a lot but we can still try to improve it because you know it's kind of fun to do it at least i think it's fun we get a penalty point for no windows Let's get some windows. I'm just gonna... Let's see. What kind of windows do we need? We need... Do we get extra points for large windows? Outdoor window per 8 prisoners. So we get plus 2 points if you get an outdoor window per two pr per 8 prisoners. And it doesn't have to be a large window. Okay, then I'm gonna put some small windows because... Large windows are off-center, the regular windows are nicely centered. Um, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Now we can take a look at the next thing. Let's see, so we are already at a 5, so we need 5 more points to get the perfect dormitory. And we can have a radio per 4 prisoners. So we got how many space do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. We got sixteen things. So what we need is we need uh I think bookshelves are nice. So we can have four bookshelves. That's why I put this little space here, so we can put things like bookshelves and uh you know other things that might improve this area what else can we need we can have fans we can have radios i think radios are nice we can also put some chairs and radios should also be nice so i'm gonna put one there put one there maybe put one there so we got we also got this area I also want to put some stuff here because otherwise this space is really empty. You know, I'm just going to make like this little lounge area as well. So we can put maybe... Are there any large TVs? Yes, there are some large TVs. So they can, uh, you know, sit around, watch some TV. I'm going to put it like around here. Let's see, do we have some sofas? Yes, we also can put some sofas in here. Looks nice, looks nice. Okay, so I moved the TV around a little bit. I also moved some chairs around. And what I want to do is I want to also put like maybe, not a pool table. Uh, you know, table, football table or table tennis table. Uh, yeah, I think the table tennis is better. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And if you take a look, it says that's perfect. But I don't think it's actually perfect because it says TV, large TV per four prisoners. Which won't be the case because we have 16 prisoners. And we got only one TV. So it is calculating it based on the amount of prisoners currently in a dormitory, I think. So now uh, there are zero, so there's one TV per four prisoners, but once this is filled up, that won't be the case anymore. So we should not be counting that one. So if you take a look, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we got eight points. So what we can do is we can also put some fans in here. And that would be nice, I think. We can also put some water coolers. They, uh, you know, although it does not look great, water coolers, in my opinion, looks kind of weird. To put uh, four water coolers in the dormitory, yeah, we still we can put some in here. Okay, I think this is it. So even once this dormitory is filled up, this should still be ten out of ten. It also looks really nice. So that, so there are some unnecessary things in here like the table tennis table, but it still looks nice in my opinion, and that's why I put it in there. 
We also got some empty spaces. So what I want to do is I want to put a chest drawers in there. So it looks even a little bit nicer. Uh, this is still kind of like an empty area. But that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind that. And that's the dormitory. Uh, and we we're just going to copy and paste this a bunch of times. And then we got a whole lot of minimum security prisoners that we can, uh, you know, put to work. And we still have a lot of other things to do, like we have to build. What does this guy? They want to transfer prisoners to our facility. Incoming prisoners in about an hour. Okay. Well, we got to hold them so, so we can put them there. Uh, yeah, but we still have to build like a canteen, a kitchen, all the other things that we also put for the medium security prisoners. We also have to build for the minimum security prisoners. So we still have a lot of work to do for this uh, prison uh, section, for the minimum security prison section. We're going to do that in the upcoming episodes. What I want to do though, this episode, before I finish off, I want to expand this because we got so many medium, uh, super max prisoners that I have to expand it. And I'm going to do that real quick as well. We are now also done with expanding the super max prison section so we can house way more super max prisoners. And we got this beautiful dormitory, perfect. 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, also leave a comment, 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 comment with the algorithm, and you would be helping me out. And subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and bye bye.